We do have some showers showing up on the radar, and it's getting closer and closer to affecting the Dallas Fort Worth area in a more pronounced way. So you look at here at the radar, there's nothing much right yet now in Fort Worth or Dallas. We've had some light rain over much of Denton County this morning and a good chunk of Collin County as well, especially from Frisco back up to Prosper and Anna and Salina. Here is a little bit more in the way of heavier rain moving out of Willow Park and Alito, headed toward West Loop A20, Benbrook White Settlement back up to Eagle Mountain Lake, the Azel area now getting some heavier rain that works its way on up toward Rome and Justin and Hazlitt. This will continue to push toward the I 35W corridor. Nothing severe or anything that would cause major problems. Of course, the roads will be wet as we move forward through the uh, morning commute, and that means you want to give yourself a few extra moments on the road. Be careful. Uh, flood advisory is still in effect here for Fannin and Grayson County, so this is where the heaviest rain has been up here along the Red River closer to US 82. So the rain chance this morning, around 50% coverage. There's a decent chance you'll see rain this morning in wet roadways, so grab the rain gear before you head out. Those rain chances will diminish a bit to a 20% chance by the middle of the day and then may pick back up to about a 30% chance later this afternoon as we see more storms develop. You can see that here on the Future Sky forecast. The rain this morning ending by midday or at least most of us ending most of it ending by midday. Temperatures this afternoon will only top out in the upper 80s to near 90. It's certainly going to feel a whole lot better today temperature wise than it has the past few days. You can see that a little bit more rain could develop later this afternoon this evening as well. So that's why even if you see the rain this morning and it begins to dry out, don't put away the rain gear altogether. There could still be a few showers and storms around here this afternoon. And even for tomorrow, we'll keep the rain chance at around 30% on Thursday. You see a few showers and storms out there. High still only in the upper 80s and lower 90s. By Friday, I think drier air works in from the northeast, and so most of the rain Friday will be to the south of the Dallas Fort Worth area. But then over the weekend, we're carefully watching what will likely become Tropical Storm Harvey later on today, and most all of our computer model tracks indicated by each one of these colored lines moves the storm up toward Victoria or somewhere along the mid Texas coast by late Friday night as a strong tropical storm. What happens afterwards is that it stalls out over southeast Texas. At this time, it does not look favorable for this storm to move directly into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. As it stays to the south, we could see 10 to 15 inches of rain locally across parts of southeast Texas. This could be a tremendous flooding problem, but you notice that up here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, we're not expecting nearly the impacts that they will in southeast Texas. In fact, you look at the potential for rainfall this weekend, and if you live in Palestine, Corsicana, Fairfield, you might have a better chance of rain of picking up anywhere between two to four inches of rain. But as I mentioned, along the Texas coast, we could be looking at much more than that. So watching tropical storms. Harvey carefully. Right now, just small rain chances this weekend for the Metroplex with heavier rain to the south.